Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is a very special LEGO set review. In front of us we have the Apollo 11 Lunar Lander. This is the Eagle from the famous expression, the Eagle has landed. It is a LEGO Creator Expert set, set number 10266, sent to us from the LEGO group to do a review, so thanks a lot guys. This is also a very special set. Um, I mean, it's the, it's the 50th anniversary uh, from the historic uh, event. Actually, it's pretty close. I think they launched in mid-July to do the mission, so it's uh, uh, just a month or so away, really, uh, from when this actually happened, and it's really an amazing, uh, amazing looking set. Uh, it's 1,087 pieces. It's um, gonna sell for 100 bucks in the States, 90 euro, and 85 pounds. It's Pretty cool, right? Let's get into the figs first and then we'll take a look at this amazing uh, lunar lander. Here is the first fig that you build in the set. Uh, they don't say which one is Neil Armstrong or Buzz Aldrin. This is the first guy uh, and he's next to the flag. So I don't know, this one could be Neil Armstrong. You can see that this mold is, it's not a new mold that makes up the astronaut piece here. But what is new and unique is the print, the NASA print uh, that goes on the front there of the of that minifigure. He's got a pretty standard face. That flag is a sticker, just in case you wanted to know. There's a little bit of printing as well on the back. Relatively simple, but um, these astronaut figs I don't think needed to be super detailed in any particular way. They just wanted to be accurate and you can definitely tell by the way they constructed the set. Here's the second guy, I just wanted to show him uh, real quick. He's got a different expression there on his face and you can see the print slightly better now. I zoomed in ever so slightly. So anyways, that is what the second astronaut looks like. And all right, let's move into the actual lander. Now I gotta say my first impressions right off the bat is that the model looks amazing. Uh, I think they spent a long time trying to make this thing look very accurate, and I and I can definitely tell that. Um, this is a creator expert set, so they employed a few pretty interesting building techniques. I especially love how they got the uh, hexagonal, octagonal uh, shape here um, for, for the main bit of the body of the lander. That, I think, was probably my favorite part to build. It used... Uh, some of those Mixel bar pieces, and they go through some cross points in 1x2 Technic bricks. It's it's good. It, it really, really works. It was easy to adjust, and uh, yeah. But anyways, the, the actual build itself for the lander, um, they really, really cared about making it look as good as possible. And they also, I think, I'm not an expert when it comes to space equipment and stuff like that, but... Uh, I know there's a huge, huge, huge part of the LEGO community that loves making realistic satellite builds and shuttle builds and, and, and everything that is space and NASA. And, uh, and there's a lot of details on the inside here that I can be fairly certain they were, they were making sure that this is about as accurate and as correct as they could get when it came to the logistical pieces on the inside of the lander itself, which... I know a lot of people are going to really appreciate. So anyways, let's take them off of the lunar surface. Lunar surface, by the way, is really cool. We'll take a closer look at that uh, later. But I think the lander by far is, uh, is the coolest part. Now off of the surface, these little uh, landing bits are a little bit more delicate because they're on these hinge pieces and you're actually um, the underside. The underside, the round part of the dish is facing down. So that stud is really gonna be the only point of connection here. So really you do wanna have this, this lunar lander on the lunar surface as much as possible. Um, but yeah, they did some uh, excellent gold detailing here. These are stickers. So there's a few stickers that go around the outside, not too much, um, and a ton. And, this is, and there's a lot, this is the spray gold coloration. I don't know the official name, of that type of gold uh, color. I know it's not the pearl gold, um, like the molded bit of plastic, but 
they've actually kind of sprayed it on. It's also here. It's just, a, it's a little bit shinier. And this is probably this set that comes with the most of those pieces because everything gold you see here is the, is the really nice bit of gold. You also get some of the macaroni pieces in the spray on silver and a couple other dishes as well with the silver. So there's a lot of nice sort of bright colors in here um, that you don't, wouldn't normally associate, at least not off the top of your head uh, with the lander, unless you were sort of familiar with it. You know, it looks very foily. And yes, you, this is the, the section that detaches, that went back up um, to reunite with the orbiting module. And yeah, look, it's got all of the instruments that uh, this, this thing had. I don't, once again, like I said, I'm not 100% familiar with the, uh, with the names of all the different sensors that they had here, though I'm sure it's very, very accurate. And if I can just zoom in there, there's a lot of detail on the inside. This is all stickers, by the way. There's not really a whole lot of prints. The, the, the Lunar Lander stand has a, has a little print, but these are all stickers here. So don't get me wrong. I bet you anything these are pretty darn accurate as to what the inside of this looked like. Uh, I know the LEGO designers and the design team uh, really make sure to uh, have those details correct. And you can take these out on the other side as well. There's, there's studs on the inside if you want to pose minifigs on the very inside. And this connecting point here is so incredibly strong. I actually broke that off the bottom. This is the little thruster that gets it back into orbit. And uh, there, hello. And then there we go. Boom. Or maybe it was the entire lander that took back off and then this detached and this was still in orbit around the moon. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but um, yeah, really, really nice shapes. It's super, super solid as you can tell. And uh, let's move on to this part of the build because there's actually some details in here that I think are worth taking a closer look at. Let's see if I can find those hidden compartments. I know there are, I think, two that can open. Here we go. Here's one. Ah! Okay, so there's this, uh, this nice little sticker here. Somebody in the comments below tell me what this is, that but it is hidden on the inside. Oops, it is hidden on the inside of this. There we go, oh, goes in like, like, oh. Let's go back in like this. Like, like this, yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's how it goes back in. So we figured that out together. I swear I did actually build this one. And I know there's another compartment. Maybe I didn't pull on it. Here we go, yes. So we've got the little film camera. This is the film camera that, uh, that if you saw the footage for the, um, for the landing, which I'm, I'm sure you did. This is, this is where they stored it. I, I'd be hard pressed to guess that perhaps this is indeed maybe where the camera was even kept uh, during the actual procedure. So that's great. Uh, there's a few bits here and pieces that are hanging out in certain ways. These little ratcheted pieces kind of bump out here. I love the connection points uh, for the stabilizers for the legs. This is great. There's a little bit of give to them, which is kind of nice, but it is actually just incredibly strong. And um, here, they even went ahead and added a little thruster here at the bottom so um yeah it's a really really fun build and extremely easy to put back together now let's see if i can put it back in the correct place i think that is the way it was before and now let's check out boom the landing module itself let's turn down that that light a little bit so it's not super overexposed and First of all, the details here are wonderful. This crater is, it's just a nice look for a brick built crater. Uh, we get that nice larger uh, round tile bit of uh, build there in dark bluish gray, a lot more for the smaller ones. Um, yeah, so it looks pretty darn good with, for the lunar surface and I like that some of the uh, under bit of the dirt is a little bit lighter. You can see the footsteps here, which is great for the astronauts. And um, right, this is the printed piece, Apollo 11 Lunar Lander. And it really does look better when you land the whole thing back down. And the feet 
kind of uh, fit in there because the, the, the dishes come down and they sort of sink into these craters that have been made for it. We've got a little ladder here as well, which I forgot or didn't bother to point out. And then I almost missed one of the most important details. But this is, here, let's look that up. Actually, I, I was about to move the camera, but let's just move the model. This, these are the signatures. So uh, you can see this in the manual, which I'll point out later, but uh, yeah, you've got Buzz Aldrin, uh, Michael Collins, um, and Ed Aldrin. Sorry, sorry, Buzz Aldrin, that's Ed Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins. Anyways, uh, and another like little message, which is a uh, spacecraft left uh, from planet Earth. So that, I believe, is all the main bits of uh, detailing for this set. Um, I apologize, I'm not quite as well-versed, perhaps, with uh, some of the some of the more intricate details of the actual mission, but if you feel like you don't know enough about it, the LEGO manual for this set actually has a lot of information, a little bit more than what they normally include. So there's the basic stuff, but they, I, I say, than maybe what they normally, maybe three possibly bits of uh, information, a little bit about the design. But also, I did want to show off very quickly at the end of this video, this, is let me turn the light down because yeah you can really see the difference of white here um, this is i think the last time they made a nasa like space set you know they have they've had other nasa well okay no it's not because we had the the massive uh rocket the apollo 11 the massive rocket that came out uh recently but this is the last shuttle at least it still has uh united states on it there should be a NASA logo on here somewhere. This is from 1990. So this is one of three sets that has survived from when my brothers and I were little and playing with Lego. So anyways, it's just kind of nice to see um, that they're coming back and they're making more awesome space sets. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, Mars City launch, or sorry, yeah, for, for the, the Mars Exploration City line. Anyways, anyways, guys. Uh, that is going to be it for this review. Remember, if you enjoy our content, you can always like and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the Lunar Lander set here. I have a feeling this is going to be uh, a very, a, a very, very popular one. I know the space line, uh, especially the really accurate, really nice looking uh, space sets are just huge within the LEGO community. So um, anyways, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Let me know what you think about this set. And, uh, right, we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Hey, everybody. Just wanted to pop in very quickly, let you guys know that we've got a LEGO web store, www.brickvault.toys, where we sell the PDF step-by-step -step instructions for some incredibly awesome LEGO mocks. I highly recommend you guys go check it out if you're interested in building something uh, a little bit more high quality, uh, way more detailed, and the revenue from the web store helps support us here at the channel, as well as the designers that build these awesome LEGO creations. So anyways, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.